Hi, this is a short video about a small new Rigify feature in Blender 3.1 and later. It is related to the toe in the leg rig type, so it's a nice feature, nothing major, but the main reason I want to make a video about it is because there is a bug with it in Blender 3.1. In Blender 3.2 this bug has been fixed. A couple of people asked me about the problem in 3.1, so I thought I'd make a video showing the new feature, the bug, and what to do about it. So here I am in Blender 3, which is before this new feature was introduced. Uh, if you're using Blender 2.8 or 2.9, you'll see the same behavior. Here I have a very standard human meta rig. I'm just going to generate it quickly. Parent with automatic weights. And I'll focus on the foot of the character, hide the meta rig. I'll go to pose mode. And here we have this um, widget which can raise the heel of the character, basically making it stand on its toes. And if you're familiar with Rigify, uh, you know that in Rigify we can switch between FK and IK. And also we have the option to snap the FK controls to the IK controls and vice versa. And if you don't know this stuff, then it may be too early for you for this video. So I have a beginner friendly Rigify series. But now if I snap the FK controls to the IK controls, you'll see that they moved. And now if I switch to FK mode, the leg will keep its pose except for the toe. So foot stays in place, but if we focus on the toe, it changes depending on the mode. And this is because until this version, we only had one toe control and the toe has a slightly different mechanism in IK mode and in FK mode. I actually made a little series about IK FK switching and it also shows how to make this bar swing animation. It's still only available to patrons but I may release it uh, soon. But anyway, let's move on to Blender 3.1 and see what changed. So here I am in Blender 3.1, I have the exact same meta rig. If I generate it, however, and parent, and do the same thing, go to pose mode, raise the heel, snap FK to IK and then switch to FK mode, you'll see that the whole leg keeps its uh, pose, including the toes. And you'll notice that if I hide the left FK controls, there is a red widget for the toes. Uh, I have to switch to IK mode and now it will work. And if I switch to FK mode and hide the IK controls and unhide the FK controls, then there is this green widget which also controls the toes. So there are two toe controls and when I do FK to IK snapping or IK to FK snapping the toe controls also snap to each other and this ensures that we get the exact same pose in each mode. So this is the new feature. It is already present in Blender 3.1 however as I said there is a bug. Here is what happens. I'm going to enable the IK controls and make sure that I'm in IK mode and then stretch the leg. So Rigify allows limb stretching like this and also Rigify has this option to disable the stretch. So if I set IK stretch to zero you'll see that the whole leg kind of returned to its uh, regular size but the toe control stays down here at the stretch position and the whole foot stretches. So that is the bug. There is some problem with the generated setup and it doesn't act properly. So you could dig into the generated rig and try to fix it yourself. If you want to, go ahead, uh, I'm not going to do that. But let's see what we can do about this in Blender uh, 3.1. So this new behavior has to do with a new checkbox in the meta rig. So if I unhide the meta rig and go to pose mode and select one of the legs, go to the bone tab and look at the options, you'll see that there is a new option that we didn't have until Blender 3.1, which says uh, separate IK toe. So if I disable this option, then I'll get the same behavior as we had before. So I'm going to disable it for both legs and regenerate the rig. And now if I stretch the leg and disable IK stretch, it will uh, return to normal. Um, I'm going to reset my rig. However, if I raise the heel, snap FK to IK and then switch to FK mode, we'll have the old problem with the toes. So in Blender 3.1, you have to choose one or the other problem. So now let's go to Blender 3.2. Here I have the exact same meta rig um, and I'm going to generate it. 
parent with automatic weights. And here, raise the heal, fk to ik, and switch to fk mode. And you'll see that it works perfectly. And if I um, switch to ik mode, stretch the leg and turn off ik stretch, it will also behave as I expect it to behave. So here we have both problems fixed. So yeah, if you want to use this newest feature, make sure that you're using Blender 3.2. In 3.1, you can kind of use it, but there is a problem if you disable the IK stretch. And in Blender 3, 2.9, 2.8, you'll have the old behavior. And before I end this video, I want to make an important point, and that is essentially keep a backup of your meta rig. Because here I'll go back to Blender 3.0, and reset the pose, and here I have this model that is rigged with a rig that is generated in Blender 3. So I'm going to save it and call it 3.0 generated. Okay. And then I'll go to Blender 3.2, where the whole problem is supposed to be fixed, and I'm going to open this file that I just saved, 3.0 generated, right? Allow execution, and now if I Test my rig, um, I'll go to IK mode, raise the heel, snap FK to IK and switch to FK mode. And you'll see that the problem with the toe is there. And that is because once the rig is generated, the mechanism of the rig, the constraints and the drivers are basically set in stone. And it doesn't matter in which Blender version you open them, they'll be the same. However, if I go to my meta rig, which I carefully left in my scene. If I go to pose mode, select this uh, thigh bone, go to bone tab, rig type, you'll see that the separate IK toe, the new option that we didn't have in Blender 3, is now here. It is not checked, but I can check it. And I'll do the same on the other side and regenerate my rig. Now I can raise the toe, snap FK to IK, switch to FK mode, and it's going to be the new behavior. That is because I regenerated the rig with the new settings and now the rig was generated with the new mechanisms. Also the IK stretch problem is fixed here. So I went a little bit on a tangent here but I think it's an important point keep your meta rig in your scene. That's it for this video consider joining my patrons like subscribe and I hope you tune in next time I release a video every week.